Dear sisters and br brothers in Christ, these four are not little children. They're big children. <laughs> Growing into adulthood, moving toward adulthood. And it's, it's my hope and my prayer that through all of the years of their childhood, or for however many years they've been associated with Grace Lutheran Church, they have found this to be a community that is nurturing of them, that is uh, supportive of them, that is caring for them. Um, all of those things are things that I certainly find at Grace, and I hope that our uh, young people uh, have found that. And even more, I hope that our young people will continue to find that as they uh, move through high school and into adulthood, that the, uh, that the values that they have gained, not just in confirmation, but from being part of a grace filled congregation, that those values will stick with them and will, uh, uh, will serve them well as they uh, make their way out in, into uh, the world that all of us who are more than, say, 20 years old know that it is a tough world out there. There are many temptations, many challenges, and we need to know what we believe, what we believe in, so that we can make good decisions when we need to make decisions about relationships, about, uh, about vocation, about studying, about uh, work ethic, and all kinds of decisions that uh, all of us have to make, that you guys are going to have to be making or get to be making in the, uh, in the years that are opening up to you right now. What I want to say to you is what you have uh, said to me, and I think the congregation will hear in your, in your faith statements, that nothing, you've heard it before, you'll hear it again, Nothing in all creation can ever separate you from God's love. I know that uh, Andrew's statement has a very wonderful um, reference to that. Um, but uh, each of you in your own way has also um, made a, uh, a statement that recognizes that this, this love that God has is a love not just for the moment, not just for when you're children, but for ever. Um, with that, I would invite you to make your, uh, make your faith statements, and uh, uh, Gianna is going to go first. Psalm 32, 7 and 8. You are my hiding place. You will protect me from trouble and surround me with songs of deliverance. Faith. When my demons drag me into darkness, sometimes it seems as if people in my life aren't strong enough to pull me back. That's when I can rely on God. I don't ask for much, not to hurt or kill the demons, but to help me into the light and forgive me. For I have sinned and attempt to escape them, only to attract more. I have and always will have faith in God. The Bible is true and it states that God will always be stronger than these beasts, and he can help guide me to strength like his. I shall take his offerings of bread and wine. I shall ask for forgiveness. I shall go and exit church to spread his holy name. I shall treat others the way I treat myself and obey the rest of his commandments. From baptism, I was born into the Lutheran church. Now, in confirmation, I shall be reborn as another child of God. My name is Connor Dietrich, and I've been going to confirmation for the past two years. I've learned a lot of things about God and the church. 
God is my leader, father, and savior. God will always be my father through life and death. Next to the church is our other home. I come to worship and pray to Jesus Christ and God our Father. Also, the church and outside world are very different. Everybody believes in a different religion, but the one thing that is special to all of us is that we are all children of God. Next, our symbol of hope in the church is the cross. It unites me as a Christian and the people of God. Thirdly, the Lord's Prayer is one of the most important prayers I do every service to God. As I go through the prayer, I remember what Jesus Christ and God mean to me, me as a Christian of the church. That's the Holy Spirit is a pretty important thing in our church. It's like the backbone of Jesus Christ and God. It supports what they've done for me. Finally, God's forgiveness is a very powerful and meaning thing to me as a Christian. It reminds me that God is always there for me and forgives me all my sins and mistakes. Good morning. My name is Corey Cordier, and I have been going to Grace as long as I can remember. Having faith is not only a general action for me, but it is a daily habit. For me, faith is the knowledge of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. My faith in God helps me do God's work through my hands. And I may not my, realize my good deeds right away. I go to worship God weekly because I have faith in Him. I take communion because I have faith in Him. I am baptized as a child of God because I have faith in God. My, my faith in God also gives me hope. Hope that Jesus will come to return to li hum hope that Jesus will return to judge the living and the dead, excuse me. Um, having faith in God is what affects my every choice, decision, and action, no matter how difficult. Faith gives me my purpose in this world, to be loved as a child of God and to do God's work through my hands. Thank you. Good morning. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Andrew Stuthite, and I have gone to Grace here for six years. I've also been in confirmation for the past two years. I'm here today to give you my faith statement. I would like to start out and thank all of the people who have helped me and my fellow confirmands along our journey in making me standing before you all possible. First, I would like to start with my understanding of God. He is my Father and will be with me through baptism onward. And all my life I will be with God, and when it seems like I've left Him, I'll turn around and find He was always there. God will be right behind all of us our entire life watching out for us. I also do believe that I, among all of you, are children of God. Next is the Bible. I believe that it is my guidance when things aren't going right, like an instruction manual, and it will continue to lead me through my whole life. I think of the Bible as a shining sign of hope, a symbol Jesus has died for me. Then there's baptism, which is me allowing God into my life. We are usually baptized when we are young and cannot really give a sign we are accepting these ways. And so we renew that promise when we are confirmed, which is why I'm standing up here. I do believe that baptism is a promise to be part of God's family, but it's a two-way promise, one that God must keep as well, to be family to me. I also believe that baptism is like the opening of doors to the start of a new life. I also believe in the Holy Communion that through the taking of the bread and the drinking of the wine, Jesus is with me and will save me from all my sins. Jesus is, in effect, absorbing all sin and halting the separation. The words Jesus spoke with the disciples sealed the deal. It turns the bread and the wine into something more, 
forgiveness because he gave his life to save us this I believe next up is the purpose of the church I have faith that the purpose of the church is to educate all that God loves us another purpose is to show my thankfulness learn and to do God's work with our hands this leads me to the next part of faith the connection between the church and the world the church's connection of the world is to help, but also to teach that God loves us all, and so he sent his only son to die for us. That is my faith, that I believe. Back to helping. The thing I love about grace is that we are always helping. You can look out in the atrium to see all the ways you can help to, to do God's work with our hands. That's why I'm proud this is my family, this is my church. I know you all are jealous that I got to work with these four, these four, for for the the year the year that I've been here. Uh, Pastor Munker, of course, had them for the first uh, first half of of confirmation, but I have I've delighted to uh, to get to know them and to uh, and to spend time with them. My last uh, assignment to them was this past uh, uh, was it Wednesday? This past Wednesday, and I asked them to work together on. Um, coming up with an answer to this question. What is the purpose of the church? But they have to do it in no more and no fewer than 10 words. What is the purpose of the church? And they worked on it. It was fun to, to watch them uh, working on that activity and they had a draft and it was you know 13, 13 words long and they got it shortened to seven that wasn't enough they had to add a little padding and you know what they came up with I think is absolutely profound and um, it's almost as good as God's work our hands that I've referred to a million times The purpose of the church in 10 words, be God's children, do God's work, spread God's word, love. Will you join me in expressing appreciation to these four for this faith statement and what they've just shared? I will, I will confess to you that I don't actually know what Grace's uh, purpose statement or mission statement currently is, but I certainly have a suggestion for what it might be. <laughs> not my suggestion, but the suggestion from, from, these, uh, from these four uh, young people. And uh, again, I'm, I'm so delighted that I uh, had this uh, this year to, to grow with them. And certainly I have grown. You, you, you all know that I was out, you know, away from parish ministry for many, many years. And I've had to grow back into parish ministry. And they have been uh, very much a part of that, uh, of that growth for me. And I thank each of you. And I, I also thank the parents who uh, we're faithful in getting them here all the time, and uh, uh, I'm aware of their busy schedules and your busy schedules, and making the commitment and showing the kids uh, that commitment is, is part of the building of their sense of the value of what we, uh, what we uh, have in the church and specifically uh, at Grace. Um, with that, I... Um, uh, we'll remind you that uh, we're going to uh, share the hymn of the day, sing the hymn of the day uh, now, and at that time the confirmands are going to gather at the baptismal font. You're welcome to either turn toward the font or gather around the font. Uh, we will, you will have an op op we'll all have an opportunity to profess our faith, and then when we, when we get back up here, um, we will have an opportunity to make public affirmation of our faith, each of the confirmands will respond individually. I do, and I ask God to help me, or whatever, I think it's guide me. 
and following the four confirmands, the whole congregation, each of you will also have that opportunity to join in the affirmation of faith. Uh, please, if you are able, stand for our uh, hymn of the day. <laughs> 